What's up everyone, it's Tin here from Tutorials Hub. Now in today's video, we're going to take a look at Mistral's AI Code Astral. So this is basically like an AI coder. Uh, and in today's video, we're just going to show you, you know, how to install it with the free API key and also how to actually go and use it and also some of the use cases. So yeah, first let's kind of go here and here you can kind of see the benchmarks. This is the newest code trial model that we're going to be uh, taking a look at 256K context length. Uh, and here you can kind of see more uh, data for, you know, nerds out there uh, like me that love to kind of read the data here. You can kind of see that right here. So these are kind of the benchmarks. Um, per language, you can see also, you know, per language as well right here. And as you can see, this is how it looks like the, the UI. So what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, virtual studio code to actually go and to actually, you know, start, you know, building apps and stuff like that and to show you how it actually works. Uh, so this is kind of the chat demo. Uh, now, as you can see for AI code assistance, code completion constitutes a large portion of work, which requires models that are great at fill in the middle, FIM, right? So code stroll marks a significant advancement in this area. Mistral's AI's new model is capable of providing more precise suggestions, much faster, a critical component of accurate, efficient software development. So this is why Codestral is our recommended autocomplete model for developers. So again, this is very, very big, uh, big news right here for, you know, those of you who are coders who wants to code programmers as well. So what you want to do is you want to log in and you know how to get actually started with this is you want to log in. Once you log in, you need to go to Codestral right here. And here is where you can generate your free API key. So you just simply go here and you copy this API key right here. And what you want to do is you want to go to Visual Studio Code. Now, uh, make sure to download it for Mac OS. You can also get the Copilot free, but make sure to download it if you're on Windows or on your Mac OS, just go and download it. Now, I already downloaded it right here. And what you need to do is you want to go into your apps and you want to go and install continue. So this is the extension marketplace. So just hit install here. So that will take some time. Continue is basically like a open source AI code assistant where you would be able to plug in multiple different LLMs in continue. So uh, basically this is how it looks like right here, as you can see. Uh, and what we can do right now, once we are, uh, once we actually install this, we can go right here to continue. So let's just double click on it. Or actually, let me just go back here. And as you can see, we can open the chat here. And this is the chat, we have the continue chat here. And we can add the chat model. So this is something that you want to do. So here you will have provider. And for the provider, we want to use Mistral. And for the model, we want to use Codestral here. As you can see, we can also use other models as well right here, which is really great. For other models, you can just go here. And I think for other, other models, you actually need to pay. I'm not sure. But you simply go to Codestral and you paste your API key. You connect. And as you can see, Codestral is connected successfully. Now, what I did is obviously you can have this locally with Olama. If, if you wanna you know, dive deep into that, you can do it. For the best experience, you can also use Anthropic API key or you know, other API keys as well. Uh, but yeah, let's just exit out of this and let's go here. And what I've prepared here is I actually asked ChatGPT to give me five different app or website ideas so that we can try it out on AI Coder named Codestral. So, as you can see here, we have AI powered habit tracker. So let's just copy this. And uh, let's actually go to Visual Studio here. Can you create an app based on this prompt? And as you can see, we hit enter. And right now, it's actually building everything, right, as you can see. And as you can see, you can also do the, the, the calendar integration. So in terms of the how fast it is, it's extremely fast. Like Codestral is extremely fast. As you can see, we already have the 
flask example and everything right here now what we can do is can you do that in HTML CSS and JavaScript So as you can see right now, it's building the same in uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript because I would love to show you, okay, this is very fast, guys. So I would love to show you if I go to copy this, let's go to live weave here. Uh, and I think this is actually, yeah, this is going to be the HTML. As you can see how it looks like right now for the HTML, we can go to the CSS right here or actually that's not the CSS this is the CSS so as you can see it's it's coming along nicely and then we can do the script and as you can see this is how it looks like right here it doesn't look that good right what we can do is we can have uh, oops I actually opened up a different uh, LLM here so can you make it look more premium this looks cheap as you can see right here. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So it's extremely fast as you can see, uh, very, very fast. So let's go here and let's copy this right here. And let's go to our style. So we have the style as well. It looks a bit better. Yeah, it looks a bit better. And then we can even have the JavaScript here so okay it looks a bit better so let's say fitness we add a habit we track right so as you can see right so this looks pretty good honestly uh, I wouldn't really change quite a lot of it so what we can do right here is we can now do can you create a custom landing page for my agency my agency is called fuel your digital and I am helping other other youtubers to turn views into customers into customers make sure the website looks clean and premium I don't want an outdated design so let's see what we, we can came up with this one uh, honestly this is pretty surprising that it codes this fast very surprising okay so we can replace the, the JPEG okay that's great now let's go back here and let's try this one okay this is how it looks like right now bare bones then we have CSS. Okay, looks decent. Let's see the script. Actually, the script is here. So this is how it looks like. Honestly, not that bad, but still there needs to be work to it. So um, as you can see, it kind of gave me the explanation of what it is, right? So what we can also do is Let's go to ChatGPT, freelance expense tracker. So that's something that we can do as well. Let's go here and let's try it out. HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. So as you can see, it's building out everything right here. So it also build out the backend as well. Uh, one thing to know though, guys, if, if you wanna, for example, host the, um, the projects, right, online, what you can do is you can uh, obviously download these projects. So for example, can you give me files to download? I think, I think you can do this. So yeah, as you can see, it kind of gives you the files to download here. And what you can do is you can download these and you can add this to folder to a folder. And what you can do from there is once you have it in a folder, you can host this for free on Net Netlify. So you go to Netlify, you sign up, you can sign up completely for free. For example, as you can see, I've, I've built here this one. 
So we can see break even ROAS calculator. This is what I've built with, uh, you know, with the Visual Studio Code and Mistral, Co Code Mistral, uh, or Codestral. And then uh, what you can do is you can go right here to Sites, Add New Site, Import from an existing project, try Netlify Drop, and you can just simply drag and drop the files here. And from there, uh, you can host this on online, right? So that's something you can do with, with this right here. So as you can see, it also gave me a note here. This example is a simpler version. It does not include full AI categorization or invoice generation. For a production ready application, you would need to integrate these features. So as you can see, that's something you can do. Now, obviously, uh, this is pretty much it for this tutorial. I kind of wanted to show you around how to install it, how to use it, uh, what it can be used for, and how fast it really is. So again, I think this is a valid cursor AI and Bulldog new alternative that is uh, free. Currently, it's it's free. I'm not sure how long it will be free, but it's definitely something to think about. So if you want more AI tutorials just like this one, check out our channel, subscribe for more, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.